Hi and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. Today we would be discussing the problem named as minimum cost of room. In this problem, you are given n number of ropes which can be illustrated in this form. So now suppose this rope has a length of 1 and this rope has a length of 2. And if we want to join this rope, then the cost of joining this rope would be 1 plus 2 that is 3. That is the total sum of the ropes we are trying to join. So this rope sum and this rope sum. Okay, so now you need to join all the n ropes into one and this is the objective of you and the final objective is that you need to minimize the cost. Okay, so now let us first evaluate a simple test case and then we would see it. Okay, so we have 4, 3, 2, 6. So we have the string as 2. Please cut this part. We have the length of the rope as 2. We can join the length of the rope of 2 and we can have the next length as 3. And if we are joining, this would be 5. Okay. So now we have the length of the rows as 2 and 3 is joined to 5. Now what we can do is we can join 4 and then 5 which is equal to the value 9 okay so now this is all together 9 and then we have 9 plus 6 okay so now we can see that we have 2 3 4 and 6 so what we can do is we can have the first join as 2 with the value 3 so the cost at this point would be 5 and now after this point 2 and 3 would be converted to 5. Then what we can have is 4 and 5. Okay, we can join these two and the cost would be 4 plus 5 that is 9 and after this point of time we have the string as 9 and 6. Now we can again join 9 and 6 which is equal to 15. The total cost of minimum join is 5 plus 9 plus 15 itself. That is equal to 29 which is the resultant value. Okay. So now if we just evaluate the test cases and see. So see let us just think in this form. Okay. So the strings would be in this form. The first string would be like this okay and suppose this is a small string okay or suppose this is a small string and then we have again a big string and let's take a medium sized that is this string so please remember that this is the medium sized string this is the longest one this is the smallest one let us just try to think what would be the most beneficial one so now if suppose we are jo joining small with a large value then we can think that this is 1 this is 3 and this is 9 so if we try to join 1 with 9 then the cost would be 10 okay and then 10 plus 3 we would join the last one 10 plus 3 that is equal to 13 if we join small with the largest value now the next option is we can join the small with the second smallest so that would be 1 plus 3 that is 4 and then 4 plus 9 okay that is 4 plus 9 is equal to the value 30 okay so now we can do the same thing for the large one also okay so now we would try to do the same thing what can we mix with the largest value so now if we try to merge 9 with 1 that would be 10 and after that 10 plus 3 that is 13 and same goes for 9 plus 3 so this side if we try to join 9 plus 3 that would be 12 okay and this side if we join 9 plus 1 that is 10. so we can see that at all points if we join the smaller 
with the next smaller then this is very beneficial if you take an example even if you are not taking an example let me tell you how would you come to this conclusion so see just let me tell you so suppose this is the string so if you try to join this string so this string would become large if we move forward like initially the string is supposed like this the next time the string would be like this the next time the string would be increasing so the string at all point is increasing and if this increased string is with this then both would get added so our objective is to lower the string so जो स्ट्रिंग जा रहा है ट्रांसलेटिंग द सेम इन हिंदी इज मतलब जो स्ट्रिंग हम लोग किए जा रहे हैं ओके सो जैसे सपोज एक लार्ज वैल्यू है वो लार्ज वैल्यू तो बार बार सबके पास ऐड होगा ना ओके सो स्मॉल वैल्यू अगर बार बार ऐड होगा तो कौन से ज्यादा बेनिफिशियल है स्मॉल वैल्यू ऐड होना या लार्ज वैल्यू ऐड होना ऑब्वियसली इफ वी वॉन्ट टू मिनिमाइज द रिजल्ट then adding the small value multiple number of times is much beneficial than small value multiple number of times let us see with the help of an example let us take the same example like if we just see it here so you can see that 2 and 3 so 2 and 3 if you are trying to merge and then if you are trying to merge 2 and 3 with 4 then you would see now 2 is already there and 3 is already there and whatever we have already merged will be there for the rest of all the equations okay so like 2 and 3 then 4 would get added after that all those would contribute so see 2 is contributing to 3 also to 4 also to 6 also this is it na so initially let's take the last time another so see initially we have 2 then we have 2 plus 3 then we have 2 plus 3 plus 4 and then we have 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 6 so if you observe this value is getting added contributing to this many number of times this is contributing so the first value is getting contributed max number of times so the first value we should try to match is the smallest value it should match with the next smallest the next smallest the next smallest so we should start from the smallest value now we can see that we can simply sort this result like we can have 2 3 4 and 6 okay now what we can do is initially we have 2 so 2 and 3 would get matched and here we would have 5 4 and 6 the next time you can again join and we can have 4 plus 5 is equal to 9 comma 6 and then we can have 9 plus 6 which is equal to 15 and then the result is there because there is only one string but the problem would arise when the intermediate result is smaller than the value how what i'm trying to say is suppose if we just sort this value this would be 2 4 6 7 and 9 2 4 6 7 and 9 so we can have 2 plus 4 that would be 6 comma 6 comma 7 comma 9 so now we have 12 comma 7 comma 9 at this point of time we should be merging this not 12 plus 7 because 12 if we merge 12 plus 7 now 12 would contribute for the rest of the transactions in the same way we should try to combine the values which are less so what we need to do is we need smallest and second smallest first is this criteria and the next criteria is we know that now the length can be also greater than the next values so we need to return insert the elements also so insert elements also okay and we need dynamic sorting not the static sorting like once we have sorted like see after this point of time 12 7 9 is not sorted so we want dynamic sorting also okay so we want dynamic sorting now there is one more thing to it like if we are joining 6 plus 6 then we are removing 6 plus 6 and we are inserting 12 that means removal is also an option here so we can say that remove elements remove elements is also needed so we want removal we want insertion we want dynamic sorting we want the second and the smallest second and the second smallest and the second smallest 
So these all criteria are fulfilled by which data structure? That is known as priority queue. We can move forward with that. So that is why we would be moving forward with the priority queue and each point of time we would get the smallest and the second smallest. We would combine both of them. We would add it to our result of the cost and then we would remove it and then again add this. So now we want the sorted form at each point of time. So now we want the smallest value at each point of time. So now if you are a Java user or if you remember the syntax of the min heap in C++, you can skip this part and move to the coding part. Okay. So now if you are a person who forgets the min heap syntax in C++ STL, like if we, in, like if we have the default priority queue okay then it is a max heap now to convert it to a min heap the syntax is long and it might be a scenario that you are not able to remember that for a longer period of duration so now what you can do is you can use the same max heap and you can convert it to a min heap how we can do that we can do that by using a simple trick that suppose we have five four we can have that. So if we insert in the priority queue 5 and 4, then 5 would be ranked first and 4 would be ranked the second. So now if before insertion, if we multiply it with minus 1, then the ordering would be minus 4 and minus 5. This kind of ordering. Now we have the min heap, but multiplied by minus 1. So we can undo the damage. When we take out that element for minus 4, we can again multiply it with minus 1 and we would have that element. So to convert max heap into min heap, we can just multiply it with minus 1 before insertion and after taking out, again multiply it with minus 1. And the same trick can work for all the syntax. Okay, fair enough. Now let us move to the implementation. Now let us start the coding part. So we would have a priority queue and we would have the long long and then we would have the simple PQ itself. Now what we would do is we need to traverse all of the array and then we would insert all the elements in the priority queue. PQ dot push and before inserting we want to convert MACP to min heap. So we would just multiply it with minus one. Okay, simple. And now we would have long, long sum is equals to zero. And then we can say that while the number of ropes in the priority queue is greater than one. Like if we have two ropes, we need to merge that. So what we would do is we would first find the top element, like the smallest element, long, long TP is equals to minus 1 multiplied by pq dot and then we would remove the top element because there is no indexing so to see the second top element we need to remove the smallest one okay and then we would have long long sc which is equal to again minus 1 multiplied by tp pq dot top itself okay fair enough and then we would have pq dot pop and we would need to do the same here because of not top it would be pop and then we would move forward and we would add the smallest and the second smallest and then we would insert pq dot push minus one multiplied by top plus second. so before before inserting multiplied with minus one after taking out multiplied with minus one a max heap to min heap is done and at the end we would just return the sum that is present and it is just compare and run and see how many errors are we making okay seems like no errors are being made so if you were here till this point of the solution consider liking the video and commenting on the video for better reach of this video thank you and have a nice day.